If you're new to Sugar CRM suite of products and are already bamboozled by how to find what you need, fear not. In this video, we'll show you the way to filter from any list like a pro in no time. The sugar search feature will bring up records and results from a direct search, which is great if you know exactly what you're looking for, but not so much if you're needing a data set. This is where the filter options come in. If you bring up a list for you like this one, there's a search bar here with a filter option on the left. It will bring options to the filter records assigned to you, but not much else. To start filtering your records, you need to enter the builder mode. You can do this in two ways, with either the create button next to the search or in the filter dropdown and click create. This opens up the select option just under the search. This is where you'll find every field in your sugar system that is possible to filter by. This is your first filter, but you can layer more on top of this and you can add and remove them as and when needed. Pick the filter field that you're looking for and a new selection will pop up. This is the filter condition where you can pick from a number of options depending on the field that you picked. Certain options that don't require values such as is empty or is not empty will trigger the filter as they have complete filter parameters. The others open up one more selection for input to add the value that you're filtering by. Enter the value such as last name or city and you will find all of the records in this module with the value you input. If the field that you picked is a drop down option or based on an existing record such as the account name, then the value input will be a drop down with all the potential options to pick from, or it lets you type in the values available. If the value field is left empty, it won't trigger the filter. And if you want to add or remove filters, press the plus icon on the end of each filter set to open up a new one and the minus to remove it. Once your filters are set, you can then save your filter set by providing a name in the name field and clicking save. The create button will now show you the active filter and the filter dropdown will show your new filter ready to use whenever you want. One bonus tip for you here, if you search by name, but start with a percentage sign, this will turn the search into a contains condition. So if you don't need a full filter, this will provide a quicker option for searching names. And that is filters. We hope that this helps you with filtering in Sugar, but if you still need assistance on further training, we are a preferred partner of Sugar CRM. Get in touch using the link in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and from everybody here at Enable, have a fantastic day.